Hello dear Robin Hoods may your tribe prosper and multiply Some of you may have already read uh, my previous works uh, mostly historical and mythological like the Chanakya's chant or the Krishna ki uh, the Rosabal line and of course uh, one of my uh, later books a crime thriller by James Patterson known as Private India but my message to you is not about uh, these previous books my message to you is about my very latest uh, book a non fiction title known as 13 steps to bloody good luck today all i want to tell you is about the genesis of this particular book how it came to be you know when i had just started out as a writer i had been rejected by all and sundry virtually every publisher and uh, i remember after about a year or two i had reached my wit's end was feeling rather depressed was feeling rather unwanted and i ended up speaking with a family friend of ours who used to co- come rather often uh, and enjoy a drink along with my dad and i uh, asked him he was a punjabi gentleman and i asked him i said uncle uh, you know nothing seems to be working out for me in my life so uh, you know what should i do and uh, this gregarious uh gentleman who loved his patiala pegs uh, he ended up uh, uh, raising his johnny walker black label uh, in the air and he said beta you stop worrying in life 99% is about good luck so at that particular time i was in a bit of an argumentative mood so i asked i said uncle but if uh, what about the balance 1% after all that 1% must be related to hard work it must be related to talent or something else so he said that 1% that 1% is known as bloody good luck now that statement remained firmly etched in my gray cells for many many years and i began to think about it a little more seriously that could i really attribute anything and everything that had happened in my own life to the concept of luck or possibly to the concept of bloody good luck and honestly was luck something that came down to us from the heavens or was it something that human beings could actually work towards so for example if you could work towards being a better speaker or a better motivator or a better trainer or probably being more frugal or efficient or managing your time better then could you actually work towards being lucky that really was the objective of this book so i request each one of you to read this book and i would love for each one of you to also share your own stories because i'm pretty certain that in your own lives there have been many many moments uh, which you couldn't necessarily explain as to why a particular opportunity fell in your lap and why you were able to capitalize on it that's ultimately what luck is about there is one more very very good reason why you must read this book and that is my good friend alok kejriwal who has been very specifically mentioned inside the pages of this particular book so i look forward to many of you reading it enjoying it and of course sharing your own feedback and your own stories about it so good luck god bless and look forward to uh, lots and lots of comments from each one of you take care bye